How's it going, everybody? Uh, doing an eating tuna fish sandwich here today, and another drink review. Since I have a drink, I got got a tuna sandwich from Grillies, and I grabbed another uh, Joe's. This time, I got the berry lemonade flavor, which I've not had. Somebody was saying in a comment you should review those, and I was like, duh. Like, why am I not reviewing those? <laughs> I don't know why I haven't straight up did a review with any. I've had them before while eating, but, like, why have I not just reviewed one straight up? <laughs> Which I was like, like, I was like, I, was like, oh, like, I should have been doing that already. But I said, okay, that makes sense. I will now review this one. See, this is like that 7-Eleven one I did yesterday, but much better. Because this has a bunch of stuff in it. Uh, white grape juice, lemon juice concentrate, red raspberry juice concentrate, strawberry juice concentrate. It's like the other one, but better. See, that's where I would have wanted the other one to be. Similar taste. This one is just, each flavor just tastes better than that one. Um, Good old tuna sandwich. They they always hook you up. I've talked about it before. Whatever you get, they always hook you up with a good amount of. I'd go, see that one I'd go the eight on. That's solid. It's literally, it's it's a better version of the one I had yesterday. Though The other one was about a berry, it wasn't a lemonade, it was like a berry punch. I don't know, what the hell was it? Same color, <laughs> similar taste. That one just tastes better. Um, we watched uh, Late Night with the Devil last night. A really good movie. Like, I was interested in seeing that one. I know it came out in the theaters, but it was like a shutter and a bunch of other people involved because at the beginning of the movie, like 20 different companies came up. I was like, oh my god, they just. One's movie gonna start. But it looked cool when I saw it. It had a. What's his name? Is it David? I don't know how to say his last name. Like Daskam. I don't know how to say his last name. He was just recently in. I mean, he's been in a bunch of. He was in that movie Prisoners. I think he was in one of the Christopher Nolan Batman movies for the small part. He was in the Suicide Squad, the James Gunn version. He's been in a bunch of stuff, but he's really starting to get. I think he's older than I am by a few years, but he's getting his due now. Because the dude's a good actor, and he did a great job in this movie. Like, this movie was so well made. He 
he's a uh, was a Jack Delroy, and he does supposed to the Night Owls late night show, and he's up against Carson. He starts in like the early seventies, and it goes through a little like documentary style thing in the beginning. But he can't beat Carson in the ratings, and his contract's up. It's like seventy seven. His wife had died a year prior, and he's part of this like group that goes out into these woods. This is just briefly kind of touched on, but it kind of plays in the story. Out in the redwoods in California, and these the elite go to type thing, the weird stuff they do and shit. And then he's it's Halloween night of seventy seven. He well, he needs ratings at sweeps week, so he has like a um, a medium on. He has this other woman that he knows on that works with this girl that was taken from like a satanic cult. She survived. Everybody else they burned the house down. Everybody else survived. She survived, I should say, and. Uh, She's kind of possessed. So he wants like a live possession thing on TV. All stuff happens. He also has a skeptic on who's like picking apart everything. And then shit happens and stuff. It's actually just, it's just really well made. It had the look. as that 70s look down. Everything. It like just the way everybody's acting and stuff. It just replicates like a late night show like to perfection. It's really good. Another movie I want to see. Kind of reminded me of uh, uh, the first season of Channel Zero. Those were based off creepy. Were they not based off creepy pastas? The or was it something else? They're based off internet story wise. Kind of reminded me of the first one. It's called I saw the TV glow. I think I, I didn't. I haven't seen it obviously, but it's something like I guess these people go check out this TV or something. What if something happens? It's, Reminded me of Channel Zero and other types of things where involving the TV. Yeah, this would definitely get an eight. The Joe Joe's Berry Lemonade is a good drink. I'm sure the blue color will cause my shits to be some strange color. <clears throat> Oh, I also got a comment. I haven't responded to yet. This is another thing I should have been doing. <laughs> Similar, I should have been doing, reviewing these Joe uh, teas, Joe drinks months ago, but if not years, um, they were like, "Oh, you should put like you know drink reviews on, on a poll," which I could do in the community section, and a lot of people do that. Creators, you know, you'd be like, "Oh, you know, what do you want me to meet?" drink review next uh, Joe's something or Mountain Dew you know so when we get to North Carolina I think I'm going to start doing that I will say that in the comment as well respond when I respond to the comment I will say that as well in there or maybe similar polls with other videos like um, you know you want to see a PS3 game gameplay or a 360 one, you know, something like that. But sports are still going on. Um, Nick up 2 1 on the Pacers. Pacers won last night. Boston and Cleveland are not at one. Cleveland destroyed him in game two in Boston. I don't know if that means anything other than signing the loss or, you know, that series will still go five or six. I don't know. 
uh, Western Conference. Oh, the the, the T Wolves were up two zero, but then they got destroyed at home against Denver. So that that might be one of those the freaking home teams losing all the game series. And uh, I believe Dallas and the Thunder are not at one apiece. Going back to Dallas, uh, but, uh, hockey. The Bruins took game one against Florida, and Florida kind of just destroyed them the last two games, so they're up two to one. And they think they physically were beating them up in game two. <laughs> um, Canucks and Oilers are tied at one. The Oilers won last night in overtime. The Rangers are up 3-0 on Carolina. They had won in overtime the other night. What's his name? Sheskrim. The Rangers goalie's just, just been ridiculous. Like, he's just... That's what happens. And he's a solid goalie to begin with, but... I know him and Sorek and the Islanders goalie are, like, really good friends, if not, like, best friends, but... And Sorkin's done this too. He just had a very off year, and I'm hoping he comes back next year, and then plays what he, he how he's capable of. But like, when you have a good goaltender in the playoffs, and then they just take it to another level, and it doesn't mean you're going to win the cup, but you're going to be in every freaking game. I mean, the Rangers haven't lost yet. They're seven and zero in the playoffs, um, and people are getting on them because they played the Capitals, and people are getting on the Hurricanes too because they played the Islanders. You know, like, not, were, look, I could admit, even as an Islander fan, they were not, not like no competition, but both those series were foregone conclusions, and as an Islander fan, I was saying as much, although I said they would lose in seven, I guess giving the Islanders too much credit. But the Rangers are the ones now getting all the timely goals against Carolina. I think the last two games were overtime wins, I think game two was double overtime. If you have a goalie who's playing lights out, it's just impossible to do anything. Um, uh, and Dallas and Colorado are tied on a piece. Dallas blew a big loop. They were up like 3 nothing in game one and lost. And they were actually up 4 nothing, and they ended up winning 5-3. to three, But the Carolina, uh, the Carolina Avalanche took it to 4-3 to three in the third but they held on Dallas, so uh, we've got some action going on right now, some battles. I mean, even like I said, the Hurricanes are down 3-0, but the last two games were just overtime games. It's just as with the point where the Islanders play the Hurricanes, the Hurricanes will get timely goals. Now the Carolinas, although the Islanders did win that double overtime game, surprisingly, <laughs> they actually got the goal, but... Uh, the Rangers are the ones now getting the goal, the, the key goals. It is hockey, isn't it? It's hockey, you never know. About three or four or five teams have come back from 3 0. Islanders did it once. I think Montreal did it. The Flyers did it. Uh, somebody else did it too. I can't remember who it was. And baseball's still doing its thing. Yankees are playing well. Dodgers are starting to play really well. The Phillies are playing ridiculous. Soto to keep him. He's going to get end up getting like $50 million a year. I mean, he's solid to begin with, and now he's just playing. I mean, he's been ridiculous.
There is a lot of sugars in this. I was just looking at the nutrition thing. 60 sugars in this thing. It's a 20 ounce bottle, but Jesus. But all done on that. And uh, that's just a drink review of Joe's Berry Lemonade. 8 to 10 on that. It's really nice. Good blend of the flavors. It, it's be Everything tasted better than that 7 Eleven. Well, that 7 Eleven was okay. But this one was a lot better. This is what I would have liked that one to be. And uh, eating a tuna fish sandwich here and uh, just rambling about the usual stuff. And, uh, thanks for checking this out and have a good day.